In this illustration, you can see two independent electrical systems. The system on the left has a left center ammeter, whereas the one on the right has a center zero ammeter. The left hand generator now starts turning and is switched on via its generator switch. You will see that the current flows from the generator through the ammeter and onto the bus bar and then onto the various electrical loads, including the current required to charge the battery. In this case, the battery is taking a 15 amp charge. You can see that the entire output of the generator or alternator is flowing through the left zero ammeter. Therefore, it is sometimes referred to as a generator load meter. If we now turn on some electrical loads, and let's assume that each globe takes 15 amps, you will see that the left zero ammeter is indicating an additional 15 amps of current flow from the generator each time a lamp is turned on. If we now start the right hand system and turn on the same electrical loads, you can see that the current flows to all the same loads, but the only current flowing through the ammeter is the 15 amps going to the battery. A center zero ammeter will only increase its reading if the battery takes more current to charge it. If the generator or alternator fails, or it's turned off, the reverse current relay in a generator system opens to prevent a reverse current flow through the generator. This allows the battery to supply the current necessary to run the electrical loads that are switched on at the time without the excessive current flow that would occur if the electrical path through the generator was not removed. In an alternator system, a diode, which is an electrical one-way device, does the same job. When this occurs, you can see that because the left zero ammeter is connected to the generator output, regardless of how much current the battery is providing, none of it flows through the ammeter and it drops to zero. It's only capable of showing the output from the generator. In contrast, in the right hand system, you can see that all the current flowing from the battery flows through the center zero ammeter, which moves the needle to the left of center to indicate the 45 amps the battery is supplying to the system. As the electrical loads are switched off, the battery is supplying less current and its discharge reading decreases accordingly. To recap the major differences between the systems, with the generators working, as you turn on more electrical loads, the reading on the left zero ammeter will increase as the generator load increases, whereas the reading on the center zero ammeter remains the same, only indicating the current flowing to the battery. And when the generators are not working, the left zero ammeter reads zero, whereas the center zero ammeter shows the amount of current being discharged from the battery. If you divide this current flow into the ampere hour rating of the battery, you'll arrive at the length of time it will take for the battery to become fully discharged.